dear, beautiful, brown-skinned girl. And I use the word beautiful because I know that's never a word you would call yourself. I look into your eyes and I see the light and hope of myself. In this photo, you're just about to turn 20 posing outside the television station where you were recently hired as a reporter. You look calm, you look happy, but I know how scared you are. If I could say anything to you, it would be relax. It's gonna be okay, girl. You're proud of yourself With the reporter on the scene. for getting this job, but also uncertain uncertain that you'll be able to manage all of your college classes. We're standing by here. Uh, and work a full day's job doing the news. Blah, 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 blah. Even so, your biggest concern right now, how to manage your love life with Bubba. Yes, you are dating someone named Bubba. On this day, you have brought him to the station to see where you work hoping he'll be proud. He seems less than impressed. The truth is, he's intimidated. You don't know this though, because you see yourself only through his eyes. A lesson you will have to learn again and again and again. To see yourself with your own eyes and to love yourself through your own heart. The people at Channel 13, like Oprah Winfrey and Richard Sherr. You spent too many days and years trying to please other people. Are we vain? <laughs> and be what they wanted you to be. I understand how and why that happened now. You will have to learn that the wounds of your past, being raped at nine, molested from the time you were 10 through 14, getting whipped as a young girl, by people who said they loved you because you stepped out of place and not even being allowed to show any anger or crying afterwards. That damaged your self-esteem. If only now you knew how much. Yet through it all, you managed to hold on to a belief in God and even more importantly, God's belief in you. That, my dear, will be your single greatest gift, knowing that there is a power greater than yourself and trusting that force to guide you. The trajectory of your life changed the day you answered that call from Chris Clark. He was the news director at WLAC-TV. Your response was ignited by the words of your then favorite Bible verse. Remember Philippians 3.14? Used to say it all the time. I am pressed to the mark for the prize of the high calling of God. Knowing there is a high calling is what will sustain and fulfill you. From where I sit now, viewing your journey, there really are very few regrets. That means a life well lived. I won't say goodbye. I'll just say, until we meet again. Even then, you understood that success was a process and that moving with the flow of life and not against it would be your greatest achievement. You have made me proud. Oh and much to be I proud. I like her. Oh my gosh. I, you know, I haven't seen that. I'm, I'm blown away by that. And I know Oprah's story and I know Oprah's life, but 
I'm so amazed. Imagine she starts at, at 19 at this TV station in Tennessee. She's a college student, so she's in college classes and then anchoring the news. She comes from an abusive background where she's been abused and had a baby at a young age and just all sorts of horrible things have happened in her life, and yet she has managed to come and be this. I, I, I'm i so blown away by that piece. Nice job, Paige. Nice it was job, beautiful. Paige. Paige and Faith has played a big role too, for her. Edited. Faith. Would she you, mentioned yeah, the yeah. Bible. Oh, number of very, times. very much so. You know, when I first met Oprah, we used to work at a TV station in Baltimore together, and people said to me, "When you're around Oprah Winfrey, never swear because she doesn't swear, and she quotes the Bible all the time." So I was afraid when I met her for the first time. Mm. I've heard a couple of swear words now, <laughs> but <laughs> think about this for a second, though. If she had, if her life had turned out differently, guys, she could have been married to Bubba, who she mentioned, and she would be a funeral director's wife. Mm. She would be the wife totally of a funeral different. director. But what amazes me about every time I see her. Or Wow. listen to her is how much she knows herself. Yes, it's true. She it's deeply true. understands who it's she true. is, where she was, where she is, and is deeply in touch with her own, uh, not only her own soul, but her own sense of mm -hmm. what she should be and how she should be. No, Charlie, you get, you get her. You get her very well. You know, she's in town tonight because her, her kids from South Africa are performing at Lincoln Center. Imagine kids who come from a home that's not as big as this table. Tonight, some of them are performing at Lincoln Center. It's a very, it's a very big deal for her. So. It is. I think it's to, 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 to both wow. of your points, too. In many ways, Oprah has given yeah. other women, and not just women, men, too, but the license to do that same thing, mm. to, to get to know themselves and to, to embrace who they are and allow themselves to make the most of it, even if it didn't start out wow. that way. Yeah. You can read Oprah's full letter in this month's edition of O Magazine. It's now on your favorite newsstand.